Hi, Hiram here. Uh, one, well, two questions that I get asked all the time are why do I use methanol for my fuel and where do I get methanol from? I get messages and emails on this all the time, so I thought what I'd do is talk about this again a little bit. Let me start off with uh, the last time that I bought denatured alcohol was this. This cost me $15.29, not including tax. So this is a gallon. There's 128 fluid ounces in a gallon. So if you carry that out, this stuff is 12 cents a fluid ounce. 12 cents. Don't use this anymore except for around the garage in the shop. The last time I bought heat, this is a 12, uh, 12 fluid ounce or 355 milliliter container. It cost me $1.79. Divide that by 12 ounces and this works out to 15 cents an ounce. Buying a gallon of the denatured alcohol was cheaper. That's why I did use this a couple of times, but then I went to the gallons. The people at the place thought I had a paint shop for the amount of it I went through. So that's those two. 12 cents and 15 cents a fluid ounce. So from there, I forget who it was, but somebody had told me about using methanol and where to get it and stuff. So I started buying it from a local racing fuel place here. And what I do is I get it. This is my first container. This is uh, two gallons, eight ounces, or 7.8 liters. This is my big container. Then I have another one that I try to keep full. This is half full now. The other one's full. This is one gallon, four ounces. I never knew why they did that, but I guess it's because this is four liters. So what happens is when this one empties, I pour from this. Can you see that? I pour from this one into the smaller one because it's easier to handle with what I poured into. I also have another jug that I got from the place. This is for methanol also. And they all are clearly marked methanol. Not to be confused with gasoline. That would make a big problem. So any container that I use methanol in, I make sure it's marked. So it goes from this container, I pour it into this container when it's empty, and this was the spare one that I had for winter because I went through a lot of methanol this winter. Now when it gets time for me to, when I use it in my stoves and stuff, I pour it from this into this. It's an old soda bottle. Again, marked red tape, methanol. This is nice because the spout on this one fits into this bottle and it has a, a pressure open thing here. You just push down on it and it opens up. So it's real easy to pour it into this. But it wouldn't be, I could do the same thing with the big one, but you know, Two gallons, yeah, two gallons messing around with. So I poured this one into the small one. Uh, I guess that's about it. Where I get it from is I get it from a local racing fuel place. This is, yeah, I'll put it bigger on the screen. I buy it from these guys. All you have to do is you take your own jugs. Oh, I don't think I said the price. Uh, you just take your own qualified jugs and he'll pour it in there for you. Last time I bought methanol, things change all the time. This was $4 a gallon, which he divided out to the ounces. This is three cents a fluid ounce versus 15 and uh, what was the other one? 12, 15 and 12. This only works out to three cents a gallon. So, for the amount of stuff that I go through, I have to use this. As far as places where you can find it in your local area, excuse me, <clears throat> if you have a, uh, any racetracks or anything around your area, call them. Ask them who supplies their methanol, their drag racing 
They're top grade methanol. They should be able to tell you. Uh, race tracks, go kart tracks. Some go karts use it. Uh, drag strips. If you have them in your area, just give them a call. Ask them who supplies their methanol. If you have no tracks around your area, I guess you could go to almost every place has a performance speed shop for the car guys. They should be able to tell you where to get methanol from. Uh, even at the, I guess some hobby stores have, have it for remote controlled planes and cars. They probably use methanol in that. Just check around. Now, I put the card up on the screen. I didn't put the last four digits of his phone number because I don't want crazies from all over calling him. But if you're from this local area, you can look him up in the phone book. Just look up. And the way I found it was I looked it up in the phone book for racing fuels. Found a couple didn't deal with it. And found out that this guy did. And that's where I've been buying it. Again, like I said, you got to take your own jug. And they pour it off for you. So I hope that helps. That's why I use methanol. It's a whole lot cheaper and it comes out about the same as far as the results from the boil tests and stuff. It's just a whole lot cheaper for me. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.